Hello everyone, my name is Richard from Home Tech Video. This video I'm going to be showing you how you can set up a alert um, sent to your smartphone when any uh, motion that happens on any of your cameras. This alert is going to be a picture message with the image of what caused the alert when it happens. So let's go ahead and jump right in and I'll show you how to set this up. So the camera I'm going to be using to set this up on is my front door camera. I already have a, uh, an alert set up, but the first thing that you want to do on this camera is to set up an email server and email account within Blue Iris. The text message is not coming from a uh, cell phone number, it's actually going to be coming from an email account. I would recommend setting up a separate email account specifically for this purpose because if you use your main email account, let's say you have a Gmail account and it's your main email account, it's going to, um, you're going to see a list of stuff in your sent box and that's from blue iris sending the email so i recommend setting up a separate email account specifically for this purpose unless you don't care to have, have blue iris constantly sending stuff in your sent box so and to do this what you'd want to do is to go up into your options tab and then go over to email servers and then add in an email account in here i already have one set in here uh, currently but i'm going to show you how you do this so you'd go into add and then your description would be, you know, whatever you want it to be. So I'm just going to call this um, text email. Your preset is going to be for whatever email server that you have. I use Gmail and there's a very specific thing if you're going to use a Gmail that you need to set up in the settings for this to work. And I'll show you how to do this here in a minute. So I'm going to select my, select the Gmail account. The from email is going to be your email address. So it's your email at gmail.com and then your login is going to be the same thing your email at gmail.com and then your password now from here what you can do to see if it's going to be configured is if you can um, you can go in here and hit test and blue iris will run, try to run a test on it and if it, it succeeds it'll say uh, you know success or something down at, at the bottom if you get some type of error message on here and you know it's the correct username and password, um, what you need to do is go into your uh, Gmail settings or your uh, Google settings and switch a certain setting. So let me close this out, close this out. If it's successful, let me go in here and edit, and I'm going to do a test on here. You're going to see something like this go through. Complete. If not, if you get an error message, most likely um, what you need to do is go into your Gmail uh, settings. So this is how you do this. So I have, make sure that you're logged into your Gmail account that you want to have the uh, picture message coming from. So in this account, this is my personal account. Click on the, uh, the symbol over here, and then you're going to go into my account. This video was done on January the 19th, 2018. So Google changes stuff constantly, but you can search for it if, if you're settings look a little bit different than this but you can go into sign in secure and then over here where it says apps with account access what you're looking for is this setting right here it's called allow less secure apps by default this is turned off you want to have this turned on because blue iris is considered a less secure app and uh, gmail is mm -hmm. going to gmail prevents this from uh, Blue Iris, uh, Gmail prevents Blue Iris from having a login access, therefore uh, being able to send an email from Blue Iris. So once this is all done and you go into your uh, email settings, uh, your email server here, and you get a successful confer uh, confirmation that this goes through like this, then you're ready to set up your cameras. So now what I want to do is go into the camera that I want to configure the picture message for. I'm going to use my front door and you're going to right click and go into camera properties. Uh, the first thing that you want to do is set up your zones for your triggers. So I'm going to go into trigger, motion sensor, use zones and hotspots. And on this particular camera, I have zone B that I'm going to be using for the area that if there's any motion that happens in zone B, that's when it's going to go ahead and send me a picture message. Um, the reason why I don't have the entire area, um, this bush sways a lot in the wind. There's a little gap, I don't know, you can't really see it right here, but there's a gap right here that during the day has a lot of shadows that come right in here because there's a tree up here. So I left this area out. And then the area on my front porch, I left out because I have a outdoor cat that we feed. 
he comes up on the front porch, jumps in and out of this chair and walks around and we were getting a lot of false alarms for that. So basically the area that I have is this green area right here. And then this short little green area right here prior to somebody walking up. So this is going to catch somebody walking up to my driveway because they're going to have to pass in front of here. And then if they walk onto the front porch here, or if somebody leaves the house um, this way, it's going to catch them right here. But it's going to leave out the areas that I don't want to have a alert from if there is motion. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of here. So this is set up to zone B. Cancel out. Or save it or hit OK once you have those set. And then you're going to go to alerts. And then for this camera, motion zone, I'm all, by default, these are all going to be checked. I unchecked this all and just said uh, for zone B. The next thing that you want to do is go down here and make sure that send as an SMS message is enabled and then go into configure. For the outgoing SMS server, you're going to select your Gmail account once it's already been configured, and then to phone. So I'm going to put in my phone number here. And then if you want to put in multiple phone numbers, you just do, you're just you going to separate these by a semicolon. And then you can put in another phone number here if you want. But for this test message, I'm going to just do it as mine. Now select your carrier. Um, this is important because it's going to be sent via the carrier's MMS setting when it comes in. So um, I have AT&T. There's a lot of different options that you can choose from with your phone carrier. And then when you select AT&T, make sure you select MMS for multimedia message. If you select just regular AT&T, it'll send the message, but if you want it to send as, as a picture message, um, MMS has to be selected for that. And then you can set whatever subject that you want. So I just have this as Blue Iris Alert, and this is all, I just left these all by default. And then make sure that you have attached current image checked. And this will send the current image of whatever gets triggered. Uh, quality is, you know, a 50% reduction in quality to cut down on um, how quickly the message will send. If you have this set to 100%, it might take an extra one or two seconds to send because it has to actually send that video file within an email and then text it to you. So if you have this at a lower quality, then your email is going to send just a little bit quicker. And then finally, uh, the timer. I, I have mine set to two minutes. So basically, if there's a lot of motion going on my front door, it's going to wait two minutes between sending another message. And the last thing that you want to do is just hit test and make sure that you get a success message or complete at the end. And then obviously that you get the text message that comes through to your phone. So that's how you set up a picture message on your cameras and how you can get alerted anytime that there's motion on your front camera or any camera that you have set up. So I hope this guy, uh, hope this video helps you guys and thank you all for watching. Have a great day.